two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you gotta flick it. I'm gonna do it. Yes! There it is. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome to Metal Morning back in the new office space. Do we even remember how to do this? No. We no. Don't. Great. But uh, I think we got a new beautiful setting going on, so at, at least, you know, the, that has been figured out. It looks good. Uh, I still have to put a, a cover over this uh, lead that's over there. And it's also Some just halfway. Some small details that needs to be done. Small details yeah. that, uh, you know, we'll fix it through time and eventually this will be the perfect place. But you have to start somewhere. There hasn't been a metal morning in a while. It, basically, there's been vlogs. Like we said last time, we said we would stop with talking about genres, yes. okay? Because we felt that, uh, that that has been done. Let's just move on to something else. So it's gonna be a little bit different today and we'll just have to see if you guys like it or not. With that beautiful intro <laughs> there, we just wanted to show the new guitars. That's the Ladylike S1.7 with a purple. Can you can you angle the guitar so you get a little purple ness of that? And then you have the uh, S1.6. Uh, with a, uh, it's a popular barrel. It's coming back again because they were really popular. Are those <laughs> you know, the same? Popular barrel. Popular barrel. They, they should oh. just rename it popular barrel because it's so popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's popular. what the fakest smile I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. Oh, what a good joke. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so good I have a supporting say? wife. We're gonna he head straight to business. We have a lot of things to cover today. Instead of doing the genre SML morning, I figured we would check out some music related things that needs to be talked about. Basically, it's not the news, but it's basically the news, but <laughs> not the news. It's another type of news, let's just say that. It's more like uh, we'll see, we happens. check out the current events and uh, then we, we speak, or maybe not speak. Do I have, is the microphone on? It is on. <laughs> uh, and your microphone is directed that way. Oh, no, 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 Oh, I'm sitting on the remote control for the lighting. Shit. All right, the lighting has been fixed. Let, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so I figured we would check. This uh, is also a very temporary solution. <laughs> it's just, that's just how it is. You know, we, we, we just, we want to get the content out to you guys. And you know, you just, we have to improvise a little bit. Hey, oh, 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 careful there. <laughs> also, Pix is getting, you know, used to the new environments here. Very important. So just uh, one cable on the floor, actually. And, and that, that is the one she trips on, because <laughs> yep. that's Pix right there, our dog. I thought we would... Okay, what should we call this segment? It's still Metal Morning. Metal Morning Newsflash. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First up, we have a new Trivium single. You know Trivium? Yep. Matt Heafy. Uh, very active on Twitch and uh, a very big Twitcher. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> okay. So maybe I can uh, turn that down a little bit. Maybe I can do it here. Yes. Just <laughs> so this was released last week, 1st of October, and it's like a cross thing with uh, Elder Scrolls Online, which is a, a video game. Uh, huge fan of Elder Scrolls, by the way, you know Skyrim, Oblivion, yes. remember those when yes. I was sitting... Shit, many I hours. Many hours. It's a new single, hopefully it doesn't demonetize this video. Uh, please, Matt, calm down. I know it's not Matt, it's usually the, the record label that, that just, they just claim it. Why, did, why didn't you listen to Trivium? I don't know. I mean, it's a band that you would like. I'm absolutely certain of it. I don't know. Maybe I haven't discovered it yet. Yeah. I mean, they're a great band and, you know, it has the very, a lot of catchy elements. This is good. I like yeah. this. And also, the guitar tone... <laughs> okay, let's do it again. I almost said suck, <laughs> but I didn't mean to. Uh, the guitar tone is absolutely awesome. I really love uh, the guitar tone on this one. So, uh, Matt has to give me the insights of what was being used. But, you know, catchy choruses. Yeah. And, uh... 
the man is beautiful. <laughs> you know, there's just a lot to like with this pad. I'm not sure if this is recorded in their new space. They have a new, yeah, I think it's recorded in their new garage. They built up a huge garage for their whole band mm -hmm. where they can rehearse and like, uh, basically like a hangar. I think they call it the hangar even. So they can make content from there, which is cool. It's a good song, it's new. Okay, the album is out now. Okay, it's called The Court of the Dragon, In the Court of the Dragon. Okay, you better check that out until okay. next time. Okay? okay, and then I'll ask you, what do you think about this album, okay? <laughs> okay. Good deal. Okay, so something that has been going on for the past months, ever since uh, COVID happened, these really obscure videos uh, of uh, Robert Fripp. Homemade. And uh, yes, Robert <laughs> Fripp of King Crimson and uh, Toya Wilcox. Which who, she's an actor and a, a singer. They've been making covers, uh, and they made a lot of covers. And they're a little obscure. We can let's just check one out just for reference. They're called Sunday Lunch, by the way. And he, <laughs> it's basically Robert Fritt sitting watching his uh, his wife singing and covering a song in uh, you know challenging uh, clothing, okay. <laughs> <laughs> basically. And it's becoming hugely popular. So you see it's like two cam, he has one cam on his face and then she's on the table okay. there in this uh, challenging so outfit. She, she's like, she cannot like uh, perform for real audience, so this is exactly. what she's it's, doing. Exactly, it's, a, it's a, not a way of uh, getting your creativity out uh, yeah. during uh, tough times, let's just say that. All made up and everything. Yeah, they're fun. And you know what I absolutely like about these? Is that they don't give a rat's ass about anything. I no. mean, what if we were this couple at this age <laughs> and still doing shit like this? That's, yeah. that's what makes me happy. <laughs> he's, he's doing his best. <laughs> he's doing his best. Well, wow. At least the critique. I mean, you have to do what you can. To, they're having to, fun. They're having fun, exactly. Yeah. And uh, that's something I really admire. They just don't give a shit. No. The, uh, I would like, maybe we shouldn't do this when we're at this age, but I wish we but would. But not almost. before. <laughs> not before, maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying you should wear this. I'm just saying, just do not give a f as they're I mean, doing she has right a here. great body, so she if I eat. have that body in that age, yeah, maybe. Exactly, maybe, <laughs> may maybe. We'll, we'll see, maybe in uh, uh, one million uh, subscribers. All right. We have to check out Gene Simmons narrowly avoids fall and death. Ah, uh, sorry. That was not me, right? No, that's the it's dog. The dog. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, but Gene Simmons narrowly avoids fall to death during opening songs of Kiss concert in Tampa. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Well, we're, we're gonna watch. It's during the intro of the Kiss show. Check this out. And kiss, man. They're still going at it. I mean, Gene Simmons, he's 70 years old. Look at this. That's how you open a show. But look at the his platform. Holy shit. No. Ah. Oh shit. It tilts. Very dangerous. And you know, he's wearing these high heel yeah, shoes yeah. and all. That cannot be easy. And he nearly died right there, because that's what the headline said. <laughs> yeah. You know, escape death. He almost death. died. He almost died. These guys are 70 years old. They wear, you know, heavy clothing, I mean, high heels. Shoes, like, yeah. I mean, he's just waiting to get off. You can see that right there. No, he's trying to get off. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for that, he's alive. Oof. There you go, what a champ. And then you continue on like a true professional. That's, Show that's how you do on. it. <laughs> show must go on. It was the start of the show. I did, they have a full show gone. I'm happy he escaped death. That was really, really cl close right there. Can we see a close up again? What happened? Look at that. He's almost dying falling off that little ledge right there. Just saying. But I mean, you have to, I mean, holy shit, man. You're 70, your knees are shot, and you have to be careful. Just saying. Just like Robert Fripp and the. the what, what, we're covering old people today, or older. It's not old. I mean, they're still young at heart. I, I'm afraid to say it, but I headed over to TikTok. I'm not a supporter of TikTok, okay, we're, but we're go follow now. my TikTok account, where our dog went... Uh, vent. <laughs> where our dog went viral, and you went, uh, went viral as well. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, 
don't don't join TikTok. But if you want to, my new favorite <laughs> TikToker, it's the Paradise. He basically sits and plays drums to videos okay. on TikToks. Yep. So, oh my God, that's a oof, that's a terrible fart right there. So check this out. I think I've seen this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. That's even lower than Mario. <laughs> I mean, this uh, this animal has a, a big body. <laughs> the hell was that? A whistle. Maybe we should get like a guest appearance from uh, Walrus yeah. on the next Fear album. I mean... <laughs> It's great. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is my new favorite TikToker. All right, I, re I just remembered why I do not like TikTok. It's because of videos like this right there. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. My uh, new favorite TikToker, The Paradise. There's actually some good content on TikTok. You just have to filter out the shit. So another old man. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say, but uh, another uh, legendary old uh, man. 50 plus man. Yes, 50 <laughs> plus uh, Judas Priest. Uh, Richie Faulkner, the guitar player, he also escaped death because his aorta ruptures while he was playing Painkiller live. Okay. Finished the solo and everything and then went off stage and... Like, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I don't feel so good. When, so, when something like that happens, you know, it's basically... It, it fills the, the whole body with blood because, you know, it ruptures here and, you know, everything goes down. It's extremely dangerous. Remember we had a childhood friend? Yeah. that uh, died from this on yeah. his way to school. And, uh, you know, he's extremely lucky to be alive today. He finished this, this song <laughs> and went to the hospital. And they're like, yep. you're, you're supposed to be dead right now. <laughs> Just a small little side note. I mean, it's a dangerous business out there. Just saying. All right, last but not least for the, whatever we named this thing, I've been meaning to check out Spirit Box okay. for a while. Spirit Box is, I think, uh, prog metal with a female vocalist. Brandon has uh, been on my ass about it like for a couple months now. So it's time. So now you're We're happy. gonna check it out. Here you go, Brandon. Here you go. This is for you. <laughs> I'm gonna check out Spirit Box. Well, this sounds more like new metal actually. Maybe it can become my new favorite fan. Oh, okay, so she's screaming. I, I, I didn't anticipate that. I thought it would be like prog metal. Oh, Aristides guitar. So it's a little like half gem. Yeah. She has a good voice. Really good voice. You really use that in the last song. It sounds good. All right. We have to yep. make a deal. <laughs> You're gonna listen to the newest Trivium album until next time. Okay. I'm gonna listen to this new Spirit Box album okay. until next time. And then we ask each other. We have a follow up? Yes. Okay. And while we uh, think about it, like, like really listen. Yes. Not, not just one time, like five. Okay. 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 Great. And then I'm a gonna ask you, like, what's your favorite song okay. from the album? Blah, okay. blah, blah. And you'll do the same with me. Let's bring Great. that to the next. There it is, Spirit Box. You know, a little genty for our taste, I think, but with this, the other song that we'll listen to, we both liked it. Yep. So this, this bodes well. I'm look, actually looking forward to listening to this. Type. So there is, that's the uh, Mel Morning News Flash. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. Uh, but there maybe it is. Maybe you can help us with a good name for it. Yes, maybe you can suggest a good name for this. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Oh, hello! I'm Ol England of uh, Ol England Enterprises, and welcome to our office. Uh, I figured we would, uh, since we've made so many upgrades to the office, that we would make a little adventures with Ola. And uh, as you can see, no hands Ola. I'm not holding in the camera. It's uh, our new intern, Anders. Hello, Anders. Hello. Hi. Not too much, please. 
you've probably already seen this office. This is where we sit and work. Uh, Frederick, right Hello, there, okay. over there, and uh, our new Maria, who's taking care of the uh, economics. Uh, we, we're gonna watch all the rooms now, so let's head into the streamer. This is where the dog stays, <laughs> down there. That's the dog placement right there. Hello. <laughs> all right, so first up, we're heading into the stream room. If you watched the streams, you probably have already seen this room. And uh, it's basically my stream setup right here. There's a camera right there. You can, that, that's Anders, the intern. Hello, Anders. <laughs> so basically what I, you know, I had a stream room before where I have, you know, everything set up on the floor so I can have, uh, you know, play my songs. Uh, I forgot to, to prep with cool guitars in the guitar rack. So right now there's a Charvel Gojira guitar and my Washburn acoustic. And uh, yeah, so, you know, this room is meant to be like a chill room for uh, for chilling, basically. Where, you know, me and my brother or anyone who wants to be here can play some video games on the arcade or, you know, the PlayStation and whatnot. And, you know, I have my VR so I can play some uh, VR chat, What's maybe. What's it called? The sword thing? Uh, Beat Saber. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, uh, we're imagining that I'm playing Beat Saber, but it's real like a... <laughs> It's a VR porn game, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so that's the stream and chill room right there. Let's head over to the big room. So this is going to be the main recording room, which is still not completely uh, done. But the ceiling is up, the walls are done. We got the curtains up so we can make this room completely black. Anders has been shooting some uh, solo guitars photos here. Uh, using this cool little setup right here. So, you know, I think what we want to do, I was thinking about having a wall here, but... Uh, so, yeah, still haven't decided what to do, really. I mean, it's... Uh, I think we have to... Maybe time will tell. Time will tell, that's good. And, uh, yeah, so, currently, this, I want to show you this, because I didn't show you that. Uh, I already showed this, like, five times, but I like it so much. So I'm showing it again, but basically what this is, is supposed to be my rolling rack for um, mobility reasons when I record stuff in different rooms. So if I have something I need to record out there, I have an audio interface right here, the Apogee Element, that I can hook up to my computer, all the microphones go in there, and I can record wherever, basically. Just trying to make a, a mobile setup for recording my videos. And uh, I have a drawer here with, uh, uh, well, three drawers without anything in them. So, I mean, Pretty cool, if I say so myself. But last but not least, let's head over to my room, which is completely done. <laughs> right, welcome. All right, so so this is this is my office, and I'm extremely happy, you know, how it ended up. Put the carpet here, so here's there's nothing basically. I, w I was thinking of putting absorbers on the walls here, but I don't think I need no. that in here. Uh, obviously, the system for having guitars on the wall, and uh, you know, I have my favorite guitars over here. Some you know more my collectors thingies and uh, stuff like that. And then on this guitar, it's just solar guitars and all the cool guitars that I use daily, basically. And some of my favorite rigs down here. So uh, obviously that's the good thing about having many rigs is that I can switch them out. And uh, you know, just whatever I feel like, I can just- They're on wheels. Yeah, everything's on wheels. <laughs> so I can just fix that. I, I mounted all the lamps in the ceiling. So it's easy, no cables. I hate cables and I hate cable management. So I put all of that up into the roof and ceiling. I have spots here right now that kind of highlights the guitars and uh, it's uh, it's really happy about how this room came yes. out. And uh, it's not the biggest room, but it's still very cozily sized. I think it's big enough. Yeah. I mean, if it were bigger, it would be like something is missing, but now it's 
it's, 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 it doesn't feel too cramped and it doesn't feel too big. No, which good. is uh, lagom, as we say in Sweden. Yeah, just the right amount. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. And it feels like we're really like getting. Uh, it's clean. Yes. Like, it, now we there's can no work. shit here anymore, which is great. And it feels like now. I can, uh, you know, get back to work for real. It's good. It's good. That, no, over here, over here. There it is. <laughs> uh, it's cleaner here. Okay. So there you go. That's a little adventures with Ola for you right there. Not nothing spectacular. Just filling time <laughs> in the Mel Morning show, you know. And uh, here's the dog again. Perfect exit for adventures with Ola. <laughs> <laughs> All right. FAQ. To Ola and Louise, that's just going to continue because, I mean, people always have questions and, you know, it's not always that we answer or, you know, you watch a lot of my videos and maybe still, you know, questions are unanswered. So let's yep. do it. That, yep. Here it is. Brandon it. had a question. He was asking, here's one for Louise. Since being more visible and bringing your voice to the audience with Mental Mornings, do you feel more comfortable talking? part of this my monthly presentation do you feel you filled those shoes yet or do you feel you're still finding your footing in regards to the show and how are you doing today <laughs> and cat yeah I, I don't think i'm really that comfortable but i think i'm still not comfortable after 10 years a little bit <laughs> uh, a little bit okay i mean to compare to me you're very comfortable oh that's not war Okay. <laughs> I thought it was water. Sorry. It's pee. Okay, it's pee. <laughs> anyway, the, the biggest part is speaking English. Yes. I mean, to, to sit here, talk to you, you're my husband since a lot of years back. I'm not nervous about talking to you. No. And I'm, I don't think I'm really nervous talking like this to an audience. It's just, it, it's different. in English. It's in English and it's different. And I mean, I hate like hearing myself speak English. That, Ugh. Yeah. Blech. But I mean, Blech. that's common. That because everyone... I hear the faults. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you hear the, the faults. The faults. Yeah, exactly. I hear it. But I, I cannot do anything about it. I think that's what people like about you. Yeah, no. Oh, that's very cute. Uh, oh, your accent is so cute. Oh, no. I don't We're want kidding. to have a cute accent. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, well, yeah. That's. That's my answer. Yeah. And how are you doing today? Or. And how are you doing today? Oh, fine, fine. Thanks. Good, good. Thanks. <laughs> great, great question. Okay, La Rob is asking, Hi Olan Louise, any favorite female guitarist and or vocalist? I have a favorite female guitarist. Okay. That girl we saw on uh, like... Uh, Dime Bash. Yes. Yes. What was her name? Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox? Yes. That's my favorite. She was so cool. She was so cool. She and Nita Strauss are neck and neck a little yeah. bit, I think. I mean, for me, when I saw this um, Courtney Cox on the rehearsal, yeah. she was like, and there were some people that wasn't there. Yeah. All bands weren't there. Yeah. So she was like, oh, is there anyone know this song? She was like, yeah, I'll do it. And she was just... She came as prepared as you can be. Oh, she over-prepared and basically slapped every other guitar player she had on the wrist there. She had such a good was... like, um, mentality. Yeah. She was so happy, yeah. bringing good energy. Yes, she's incredible. So uh, maybe not technical, I, I don't know. because Oh, she was technically better really than all of us. That, Let's just say that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she, she, oh my God, she <laughs> played too. all the solos like immaculate. Yeah. Um, and also, Who would you say? Probably her, probably Gemma Jura too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's neck and neck those three. I can't really pick. It's Nita Strauss, Courtney Cox yeah. and uh, Jen. Nita was such a sweetheart yes, as well. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And uh, Jen is such a psycho. <laughs> and Jen is just Such Jen. a psycho. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, Jen is also very, very nice. Yeah, That's she it. is. Yeah, those are probably our favorite guitarists right there. The singers? Guitars. What are we talking about? Vocalists? I don't know. Me neither. I mean, That's Adele weird. is really good. She's not a metal singer, but... Okay. I, like, I don't know even who... I, it's, I'm Billie sorry Eilish. to say, I, I could probably not mention any <laughs> Adele... <laughs> well... No. Don't okay, understand. thank you, Siri, for the help. I, I don't think I can name at least one Adele song. I'm, I'm so out of that uh, whole thing. I don't know, Billie Eilish? Maybe? I don't know. She's a good singer. <laughs> Celine Dion? <laughs> She's a good singer. My heart will go like, on. 
Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you want to? No. Lady Gaga. I don't know. Well, she's also good. It's, they're, they're great. Yeah. But it's like I don't have a favorite, really. No. On that me sense. Neither. Maybe it will be the spirit box singer Kinda next strange time. That we we are like, we had such an easy time finding a guitarist, mm -hmm. a female guitarist, but not a female vocalist. Yes. Isn't that strange? No, because there's probably more so female vocalists. So many vocalist. more to yes. like, choose from. Compare vocalists, I think there's yeah. more equality in the amount of numbers yeah. of singers for yeah. male and female, while on guitarists it's like this yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, okay, so yeah. there's less to choose from, yeah, I think. True. And that's just how it is. It's not that I don't like yeah. equality. It's just how it is. And there, <laughs> I saved what I said with a very political answer. Yeah. Thank you so much for the questions. That was Thank great. You. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ola and Louise uh, Tasting Shit is back. And uh, today we have something with uh, weird characters on it that we do not understand. This is from Ben in Germany. As already mentioned on Discord, I'm sending you some mostly Korean stuff for you both to try. What's in the box? Peanut cookies, my favorite Korean cookies. Spicy almonds, coffee sticks, pizza flavored pretzel sticks, Ruby Kit Kat, little cookies with chocolate tips, ones that look like mushrooms. Some random Japanese treats and super duper spicy instant noodles. I put in Maneki Niko as a little lucky charm. Oh, maybe I guess a... this is... Can you open it up? Personal little gift for you. Yeah, I know it's so small and so kawaii. Kawaii. Oh my God. From Ben, a member of mine. Thank you so much, Ben. That's so nice of you. Okay, what are we doing? Um, should, should we, we start with these? Okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's been an accident. Okay. All right, let's just take this. But this looks good. What is it? Like honey... A cookie? Honey cookie. Mm. It's a nice cookie. Or? It really feels informal when there's a desk and we're standing <laughs> to try out shit. Just saying. <laughs> uh, that was good. Made it. Like a buttery cake? Yep. I it's guess. A buttery cake. Pretzels? Pizza flavored pretzels. Let's do it. Good. And this is coffee. Hello, me time, it says. The instructions are unclear. Okay. <laughs> Pretzels and coffee flavor. Ooh. Not nice? It's a lot of coffee flavor. You know when it's like instant Nescafe? No, you don't know because you don't drink coffee, <laughs> but it was pretty pretty bad. I, I love to have a pizza one. Counter that flavor. It tastes like uh, oregano. 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 Oregano, man. <laughs> oregano. Oregano. That was good. That was completely okay. Oops, I took a second. Anders, do you want? <laughs> take a take a take a little stick. Be careful. Yeah. We treat our interns. Let's just say that. That was great. That was the pizza pretzel. Was it good, Anders? Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Then we have these funny little mushrooms. I like how it says other there. I think it's because <laughs> uh, they want to sort it with other. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a mushroom. Mmm, I like that. Nice. It's not grainy. The Koreans know what's up. What's up? Pink Kit Kat. Oh, it's Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. But pink. With a picture with a lady. She doesn't have any socks. And there's someone taking out the dishes right next to her face. That makes a lot of sense. Maybe, yeah, but maybe it's like after dinner you have a piece of this. I don't know. It's the same. <coughs> Does it? <coughs> it's not terrible. But it's also... All not great. <coughs> so <tell us>. No <laughs> shit. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an easy segment. <laughs> just saying. That was uh, not good, not terrible. No, it, it was okay. Terrible it was just... for you, maybe. <coughs> and then we want I just this. Died. What the fuck this is? I don't know. But basically, I think small bags of cute animals. <coughs> Hiya! Are there different flavors? Oh, okay, or... they're small little chocolate balls. Oh. Can I have some small little chocolate balls? Mm. Yeah, we have a similar one in Sweden. Yep. It's nice. All right. Last but not least, let's do the hot spicy almonds. Spicy almonds. Oh, they're spicy. They're a little spicy, really spicy but I mean, but... I've had spicier things in life. Let's just say that. It's spicy, but not too bad. No. I will live. Which one was your favorite? 
Mm. I think the mushrooms. The mushrooms were nice. They were the best. I mean. <laughs> That's it. Ola and Luis tasting shit. Thank you so much, Ben. And uh, please, if you want to send us shit. Uh, Don't. <laughs> all right, we're still getting gifts from people, which is nice. I appreciate that. Uh, just don't be weird, you know. We we <laughs> we we don't just let anyone send us gifts because no. that's uh, that might be dangerous. Let's just say that. So we, you have to you have to uh, kind of have a reason. You have to have a good reason to give yeah. us a gift, and uh, it has to be the best gift. No, <laughs> but no, it, it has to be. You have to earn our like trust purpose. before we give any yeah. type of address to you guys. Here's one from uh, I guess uh, this guy. Let's put him down there. This is from Jeffrey Mascolo. Happy 40th birthday. I was watching Dimebag's birthday video from 2020. When you restrung your guitar and noticed the hex wrench you were using, enclosed... Oh my god, did he... <laughs> he bought me a set of hex uh, wrenches. Oh wow, they're all That sizes. would lessen the likelihood of slipping off and potentially damaging the finish of the guitar, especially assessing the bridge side string uh, clamp screws. Plus, they are very cool looking. You're constantly keeping Dimebag's legacy alive and he's truly your, your guitar inspiration. I'm giving you a guitar pick of Dime along with one from Rex from the 1997 Ozfest in Columbus, Ohio, USA on June the 17th, along with the ticket stub. Oh, here it is. Find the pick. The stubs ripped the long way because Ozzy came back a few weeks later to finish the gig, so the ticket was honored twice. This gig was a very infamous event in metal history. I'm currently 56, my wife and I never had any kids and have no family interest in metal to pass these on to, keeping the memories of Dime going if I pass away. This kind of memorabilia will just end up in the trash and be gone forever when I'm dead. I have the memories in my head from these types of great events from my past and that's all I need. Maybe you could frame or display them. Hopefully you'll pass them on to your kids one day uh, since I'm sure they know who inspired and influenced their father's guitar playing Chug. Enjoy your day, Ola, Jeffrey Mascolo. That is so f***ing nice. Like a phone number on it? Yes, because Dimebag had a phone number on his guitar picks. He had like a hotline you could okay. call. And he was like, hey man, welcome to the Dimebag or Patero <laughs> hotline. And uh, you could leave a voice message. But yeah, it's, there's a guitar pick from Dime and a guitar pick from Rex right there. And these hex wrenches right there from Jeffrey. Jeffrey, thank you so much. That is so kind. That is so fucking kind. And I have a plan to make uh, some sort of small uh, frame because I have a couple of different uh, yeah. Pantera guitar picks. Can put that in there. We have to, we have to be very careful about this. And I'm going to put it up here probably uh, together with all my other things that I really want to show. So thank you so much for that, Jeffrey. That was really really nice. Appreciated. People are just way too awesome. All right, my friends, that was Mel Morning for you right there. I don't, I'm not even sure what number we're on. No. 10, 11? Uh, I don't know. Mel Morning right there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see more or less of in this Sunday series, <laughs> let us know, okay? Uh, remember to go and subscribe to my second YouTube channel as well. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. How about that? Okay? How's it going with the dog? <laughs> She's like... Okay, okay. She's there had a go. rough week, let's just say that. <laughs> Thank you for watching, goodbye.